Hello friends, welcome to a day of decorating the Christmas tree. It is finally time to get the tree set up. I was a little sneak peek. I'm gonna show you Jason setting up the tree really quick and then we're gonna come back. He actually needs to get a whole box of lights out because I add a ton more to the tree. And then after we get home from church, which is why I got my dress on and got ready for the day. As soon as we get home from church and after I do a little video call with my sisters and my aunt, then we are going to decorate this tree. So while he is getting the light put on I'm trying to find my bucket of ornaments I need to kind of sort through my ornaments and decide what's gonna go on the tree and kind of put them out into the little sections so that the kids can do it we always like the kids to be able to like participate in decorating this part this kind of decorating here that I've already done that's me I like doing that kind of stuff that's been in the box with the tree. I like doing this kind of stuff, but the tree, I always like have the kids help us and they can put the ornaments on it just fine. But Jason's gonna get the lights put on it and then I also have these picks that go into it. So, but I need the lights all on it first. But I forget every year how, I have a hair like stuck to my lip. <laughs> forget every year how much I love this tree. It's like not quite green. It's got that locked look to it, dusted in white. Let me show you Jason setting it up and then we'll be back in a little bit to fully decorate this tree and you can kind of spend the day with us. I normally don't film on Sunday, but it is a fun day to decorate and spend time together. It will be a busy afternoon getting all this done. I might not quite get it finished because we also have the Seahawk game tonight. <laughs> I'm, it starts at 1.30, but I record it while we're at church, and then because we're decking, decorating the tree, I'll have to wait and watch the game after. This, this is coming first, and then we'll watch the game. So, we'll see if we can get it all set up today. No, it won't be hard. Yeah, because I, when I was setting up the other tree, that, like, I was, like, doing, like, pulling these, which was, like, Oh, yeah, hurt your hand a little bit. all my cap. Have you had breakfast yet? No. Oh, well maybe you should, uh, make your breakfast. Here, put that over there. Got it? Okay, this part is... This is the top. Oh, this is the top? You got that? Yeah. Okay, we will set this up. Let's scoot this that way a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, no, too far, too far, go over here. Ashley, what do you think? It's good. What do you think? It's good? Yeah. Yeah? Is the tree pretty good back there? Yeah. It's kind of nice. It'll be fun to decorate it. It's tall. It's tall. Normally, I think it's Maybe you need to eat your vegetables so you grow. <laughs> All right. We'll see how else we decorate it. All right. So, let me sit here with my ornaments. Part of what I want to show you is like how I organize them and put them away. I got these like buckets from, I think it was like Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And they're like a dollar a piece or something like that. And, uh, so you need me to go get light somewhere? I do need you to go get light. There's a whole bucket and it's literally labeled lights. Let's see if you can find it. <laughs> it literally has duct tape across the front. Christmas lights. Oh, see now you change it. You added a new detail. Let's see, see if you can find it. Time. Let's see if you can find it. Find hey, Ashley, it. the Christmas lights. Hey, Ashley, you need to go get um, dressed for church real quick and then you can come help me. So I've already taken out a lot of the ornaments that were in these and decorated around the house. Like these right here are ornaments and I keep them in these bins, but then I use them to decorate the shelves with. That's another key. Find trinkets in the ornament section to decorate with, but a lot of my main decorations for the tree are in these bins. And then I also have some fake snow. Then I have this bag of all of these. I have like little mittens and stockings. These ones are fun. So these are all just like, I'm just gonna make little piles of all the different kinds of ornaments and decorations for the tree so that the kids don't put on ornaments that I don't want to go on. I don't want to have to pull them off. Plus when you have like a certain set of ornaments, I want to just do these ones first and make sure that they're dispersed evenly throughout the tree and then um, work on another set of ornaments. That's what I'm doing now. I have about a half hour before church. I'm just gonna get all of these buckets out. Round one. Literally like they stack up in the bucket in like these little Tupperware bins. Really easy and then nothing gets broken. 
Ooh, I love these ones. These ones are one of my favorite. I made these ones a couple years ago. Those ones are good ones. I get excited because like certain ones, there's I have four hats like these ones and so one for each girl isn't that cute i also have little girls here they are look how cute they are they're little like i don't even know what they are little snow girls yeah and each girl they know which one is theirs that the one, older ones do one it says mine. led lights christmas <laughs> Are you for real right now? <laughs> and he wonders why, he, hey, don't get all ornery when we go to decorate the tree. This is why I do all the rest of the ornaments and all the rest of the decorations myself. And then here's my ornament fabric quilting balls that I made. I Like these are so addicting, you guys. If I needed to make more, I would show you how to make them. I think I did do a video. Yeah, I did do Have I done a video on how a to make these? A long time ago. I'll link it because. Probably when I was this, like. You were little. Probably, yeah. This is the kind of ornament that I would do when I I was like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> no? Yeah. Go do it. Yeah, go brush your teeth no. for church, kiddo. This is the kind of like stuff that I would do when the babies were sleeping and I could just sit and watch a movie. I would work on little projects like this. When I was pregnant with my girls, I would like make my knit ornaments. I'll find them in here somewhere. I would like, or not knit, they were crocheted. I would sit and crochet ornaments and I, they fill the whole tree now. Um, I can't do it anymore because my carpal tunnel kicked in. All the garlands. I love these stringing the tree. So now I'm gonna go through and decide what ornaments are going to go on the tree. All right, show you some of the decorations. I've got the garland, like I showed you, and then my little quilt balls and my little stockings. I actually made these guys right here. This one's like that. Anyway, there's a bunch in there that I made myself. I also made these little wooden tree blocks and these little um, sliced wood cutouts, literally sliced branch from the woods, painted the middle, drilled a hole in it, and then I got these little attachments from the dollar store. I mean, one pack of, do of, of these little things is like a dollar and it came with all of these. They're little stickers and I just glued them on. So I have those ones there. Then I have, I don't know why I only have one of these. I thought I had done it up multiple years, but I think I'm gonna order ours from this year to try and like keep going with it. And then I also have these little ornaments. It's the 12 days of Christmas. These ones are kind of a mix of just kind of random ones to kind of break up the other sets of ornaments. So there's nothing special about these guys. They're just little ones that I've gotten along the way. Then like I showed you, these are the little sister ones. You saw how excited Ashley got when she saw these ones. They do know which one is theirs and they like to place them them themselves. And sometimes they move them throughout the season if they don't like where it's at or they like will hide the, the sisters, <laughs> little girls in the tree and then you have to find it and put it back out where you want it. It's kind of a little game that they have and then they have their little hats as well. They don't do that nearly as much with the hats as they do with their little girls. And then I have two little Santas. I don't decorate with Santa too much. I'll tell you about that a little bit, but I do like the little Santa to sit inside the tree and then at my other one, I usually get out and I, you know, kind of set him here on the shelf somewhere. I just haven't decided where to put him. And then I have two little snowmen. They're just odd ones. He's missing his mitten. <laughs> You know, it is what it is. Then I have these guys, little burlap trees. I don't even know, remember where I got these ones from, but it's a whole little set of them. And then these are the crocheted ones that I was talking about. I made these ones throughout a whole pregnancy with one of my kids. I don't remember which one, but I was nesting so bad at Christmas time. And so I made all of these. I have a little circle one and then a star. I did a Christmas tree one as well. So I have a ton of these guys in the white and the red. I really wish I had the fingers. Maybe I should try it again sometime. The carpal tunnel got really bad when I was pregnant with all four of them, but especially with Ashley. And so I kind of stopped doing this kind of stuff. So anyway, that is all the ornaments that are gonna go on the tree, but Jason needs to put the lights on it. And look, he found them. So the extra lights that we put on the tree, this is not the topper that we use. I have it behind me, but we also put on extra white lights like that one as well as these little ball ones i kind of add these ones as an extra little oomph to the tree so this is going to get lit after church and then we will put the rest of these ornaments on and i don't remember why did we get these ornaments or these lights were these from outside for outside yes yeah, for outside okay so we can oh, add yeah. these Okay, I, had, I can't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about the lights. Oh, oh, now I can remember. I had to like stop and like 
tell kids to get ready for church. So these will go outside, probably like on a bush or something. One of our neighbors, we were talking to him about having Christmas lights up and, and then <laughs> another set of neighbors, we weren't outside talking, but they were like, oh, hey, do you guys know that half of your lights don't work on your house? No, didn't know that half the lights don't work. I don't know why Jason never noticed when he comes home from work and comes in the front door, but I never come in the front door at night, and so I never knew. And so that might be a task for Jason to do tomorrow to either decide if it's just one whole strand that's out and we can just take that off, or if it's worth trying to like wiggle each bulb and try and find which one it is. So we've got all of our ornaments set out here. I have everything out that I want. So I can, add, oh, here's our tree topper. Just a little wooden star and it lights up. You just hook it to the top strand of lights. We are all set to decorate as soon as we get home from church. It'll be fun, I hope. I always get a little cranky when kids don't listen. I hope I have good expectations. There's something in here and I can find out. Oh, I think it's a, a nativity. Some things get put into like the Christmas tree box because I've already put all the other ornaments away and decorations away. It is. A little nativity. He goes up here. I was wondering where he was. I left a spot for this one and another little one and I couldn't find them. So that's gonna go up there. We're gonna go to church and we'll be right back. Now I remember what it was I was gonna tell you. I don't decorate with Santa very much. Literally these are the only two Santas that I have in the house. It isn't the meaning of Christmas and my kids really known for a long time about Santa, keeping it real. And so it was never like a, what did Santa bring me? Kind of a thing and never needed to be. And so I haven't wanted to decorate for, with Santa in mind because I want my kids and myself to know what the, the meaning of Christmas is. Obviously it's on, centered on Christ. So I don't wanna have mixed ideas of Christmas in my decorations. And so I always, I do decorate with the reds and the houses and the, the nostalgic feel of Christmas. The outside scenery and the snow and the trees and the lights, all that kind of stuff is nostalgic. But then I always, and I'll show you here in a second, it's always centered on Christ. And that's why I do my t nativities in the center of my wall up there. Yeah, that was in that box of lights. The little nativity was, he just goes up there. Okay, we gotta go to church. So I'll take my little nativity, and like I said, I left a spot here. So I've got a nativity set there, and another one, and then this is my big main one, and then a picture of Christ up there. But if you look at my whole shelf system, you know, I have got all the other stuff on it, but I always make sure that I center it on Christ. You'll also get a whole tour of all the decorations within the house soon. I couldn't film it until this tree was up. I'm hoping to film that video tomorrow. One, when my hair is all done. <laughs> and two, when the kids are all in school and the house is clean. Here's to hoping that actually happens. Okay, we've been Four home for us. church for, I don't know, a couple in. hours. I did a video chat with my sisters and my aunt. My aunt has taken over the role of being a mother. <laughs> for all of us and we just do um, chats with the girls every couple weeks or so just to see how we're all doing and kind of just stay connected. And it was fun today because my dad was at one of my sister's house for dinner. He rotates through all the houses and so we got to say hi to him. But then the call ended because Google Meet likes to keep you within an hour. So anyway, dad forgot while I was on the call to put the lights on the tree. So now he's, I forget. you just didn't listen to me? Nope. You I, ignore me? I wasn't ignoring you, I just wasn't paying attention to you. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Just wasn't paying attention. What? Open the garage. All right. Kaylee's here with her friends upstairs. We want to decorate the tree soon. So he's got to get those lights on now. And then we, can, then we can go and decorate. Are you helping dad? Yeah, I'm rolling it out. So he's got a couple strands to add to the already pre-lit tree. And I'm grateful he does this because I would be a mess of hives if I were to touch that tree. But if you look back here, you can see the dead spots. So I like to fill them all in, probably about two strands on this little spool. And then I've got these ones that are different. They're like round. They're not the traditional shape. And this is just more of an accent string. And then we've got the tree skirt and his family tree skirt. His mom gave that to us before she passed away. Abby's putting the tree topper on. We need something to hold right? stuff. That looks good, but now we need to plug it in from the back side. Okay, oh, plug them in again. Abby's gonna take, we have one set like this. I think we put it outside last year, but I think I'm gonna let her take this one to her room, and then I'm gonna go get some more of these ones to put outside. You can see our outside lights. See that cute little 
string out there is fun, but our house lights are good until right there. All the rest of them are off. Like none of them work over there. They only work on this side over here. So we already have to go and get lights tomorrow at probably just Target. Cause I like the little, the colored ones that Abby just had were really cute in the little ball, round balls. So I think we're close to being able to put the tree picks on and then we can do the ornaments. Okay, I've got the tree picks and when I cut them down to size the first time I did it, there's three different lengths and these long ones need to be the ones that go in the bottom of the tree. And so make sure that these little short stubby ones are into the top. Let me show you what these ones look like. They have cute little pine cones on them to kind of give the tree like a real feel. And even Jason has been converted. He's like, when are we gonna put the tree picks in? Nope, like even I said. Even Jason has been converted. Even no Jason understands my, <laughs> but these ones need to go into the top. Okay, here is the naked tree <laughs> without ornaments, but all lit up. And I've added the picks and dad this added one? the this little faux base. Remember this one is only three-sided and that's okay because you don't need to worry about the back side. The start is crooked. The start, the start is crooked. And you can kind of get a little up close look at these little extra branches. It's just fun to see the little pine cones in there. And I have not found these again at Michael's since I got them. I'm gonna keep trying because I wouldn't mind having a few more. I would really love to like add some more into here, but it's okay as it is. There is a gap, yeah, I would like to fill in some more of the gaps. So now I think we should do the garland before we add the ornaments. And then, yeah, should we add that? Yeah. Okay. All right, now I don't wrap my tree skirt all the way around because I like to see the wood box and it wouldn't really work if you just covered that all up. And so I have a small tree skirt that is red, and then this one right here is from Jason's family from growing up. It's kind of falling apart and it's not very big, but I really like to use it. it has like nostalgia feel to it. So I kind of just tuck it up in there. That way you can see the wood base and you can actually see the wood base over here as well. But then it has a little pop of red. Anyway, I really like how it kind of looks. And now I'm trying to get the kids to come down and we're gonna put the ornaments on. I'm gonna right. do the garland first because it kind of gets caught on ornaments if you do it last. The time of the year now, you got people falling in love. Brings you good cheer now when the mistletoe is above. Can you sign now driving the sleigh? Or was it the Grinch and he got away? Kevin's alone, not acting afraid. Never get a white Christmas but today. All right, here's one look of the tree with the lights on and all the decorations. I ended up not using all the ornaments that we set out. And that's fine, because I think this kind of gave us a universal look overall. But I'll take you around, and then I think we're going to sign off. All right, we're going to end this, because I want to go watch the Seahawk game. You're watching it, right? But you want to work out, too. A little bit of both. All right, but I'm, I'm sure. starting the game. Okay, they're probably going to lose. Though. Don't talk about it. They are really doing bad these days. <laughs> <laughs> but Anyways, we had fun putting up the tree. The girls helped. It was fun. Probably yeah, one of the easiest Christmas tree put-ups in years. Because I've, I've staged it so that it is an easy process. Can you give some credit? Yeah, I did You're not say, giving any credit I'll to me. I'll give you credit. You did yeah. good. You did good. It was great. So we're excited to have a great Christmas. Hope yeah. you guys do too. I am literally like set up for Christmas. Like we just have to get some lights okay. at Target tomorrow for the outside. And then I think we're all ready to go. And now, as of Thanksgiving this week, I can just relax and enjoy the... The, the decorations and I'm done with my shopping for the most part. Nice. So I gotta start. Yeah.
<laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> he <laughs> hasn't started yet. <laughs> anyway, we appreciate you guys, and we hope you go into your holiday season with festivities and lots of joy. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Bye. Snowflakes falling down. It's Christmas time. But you're not here right now to put up the lights. The candles on the mantle, they don't flicker like they used to with the snow. Christmas time without you No, 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 no It's been a few years now And this cold town is not quite the same I wish you were here now